けましておめでとうございますどうぞ今年もよろしくお願いいたしますハッピーニューイヤーバルカムトゥーキモノクッキンアイムノリコゼインストラクターゼイヤーマイスチューデンツ Hello, I'm Haruka. Hi, I'm Mitsuki. In this channel, we would like to introduce to you a few Japanese dishes and recipes. Today, we'll be showing you osechi. In Japan, we usually eat this during the first three days of the new year. Please enjoy! In this video, we'll be introducing the three main dishes of osechi. Each dish has a meaning, and that's what makes osechi special. First, kuromame. Kuromame means black soybeans. They are simply simmered soybeans which symbolizes good health. Gently rinse kuromame under cold water for a few minutes. Put kuromame, water, and an iron ball into the pan. Then let it sit on room temperature overnight. Add sugar, salt, and soy sauce and mix it well. Place them into an electronic pressure pan or an instant pot for 15 minutes. Release the pressure softly afterwards. Pour the kuromame and sauce into a container, then let it cool. After it cools down, store it in the fridge overnight. It takes a little time, but the steps are easy and it makes it more delicious. Finally, drain the liquid and serve. If possible, adding edible gold flakes on top will make it fancy. Enjoy! Next, kazunoko. Kazunoko is a lump of salted herring roe that has been marinated in seasoned dashi. This osechi dish symbolizes fertility. Desalinate kazunoko by soaking in salt water. We'll be using 3 cups of water and 1 half of teaspoon of salt here. Okay, while the kazunoko gets soaked, we'll be making dashi. Dashi is a family of Japanese seasoning and it is used as a base stock in most Japanese cuisines. Brush or wipe kombu kelp. Fill the pan with cold water and add the kombu. Place it over small heat until it reaches 70 degrees Celsius. And then remove the kombu. After the water gets boiled and reaches 100 degrees Celsius, add katsuobushi and boil shortly. When the katsuobushi all gets in the boiled water, immediately strain the stock through the paper towel. This is how you make the dashi. After you have finished your dashi, put some of the dashi for the kazunoko. Put in sake and soy sauce in the pot as well. Then boil it. After you let it go for a while, marinate the kazunoko in the seasoned dashi overnight in the fridge. Finally, serve with katsuobushi or bonito flakes on top. The last dish in this video is tazukuri. Tazukuri is made of roasted baby sardines that is coated in a sweet soy sauce glaze. These savory tazukuri symbolize plentiful harvest. First, put dried baby sardines in a frying pan. You don't have to use oil here. Just prepare a tray with oil beforehand. Then, roast the sardines on medium-low heat for 5 to 10 minutes until it gets crispy. Add sugar, sake, and soy sauce in the pan. Simmer it on medium-low heat and let it evaporate until the sauce thickens. Mix in the walnuts and sesame seeds. Then, bring the sardines back to the pan and coat it with the sauce. Once the sardines are coated nicely, transfer them on the oiled covered tray to let them cool. Put it in a dish and you're finished! Today, we only introduced the three main dishes, but as you can see, there are many more. The recipes and the ingredients of this video are written below. If you're ever interested in the other recipes, or if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Oh, so it seems like they're finished. The osechi looks very nice and it's delicious. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.